Who is Jeremy Corbyn? Is he, as his fervent supporters believe, the most moral politician in generations, a man who spent his entire life campaigning for political justice for Palestine? Or is he, as his equally fervent opponents allege, a closet racist, an anti-Semite who says there's a difference between criticizing Israel and criticizing Jews, but who blurs the lines between the two? There's always been a split in the Labour Party on Israel with one wing supportive of the Palestinian struggle and another wing, including many Jewish Labour Party members who actively accept and support the existence of the State of Israel. But never before has that split come to the surface like this because never before has there been a Labour Party leader so obviously pro-Palestinian. <laughs> At the heart of it is Labour's refusal to accept several examples of anti-Semitic language and views as defined by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, or IHRA. It is deemed, for example, anti-Semitic to say that Jews are more loyal to Israel than their own country, or that the state of Israel is by definition racist, or that Israeli government policies are like those of Nazi Germany. Corbyn and his supporters claim this prevents them from properly criticizing Israel's actions towards the Palestinian people. A whole raft of Labour Party heavyweights like former Prime Minister Gordon Brown have demanded the party clarify properly its position by falling into line with the IHRA. At a time when the ruling Conservative Party is in a hole over Brexit, Labour is tearing itself apart. Labour almost isn't functioning as a coherent political entity at the moment. Within it, it's not so much sort of, you know, moderates versus Corbynites. Really what you see is a sort of warring fiefdoms, some of them quite small. There's the right wing against Corbyn, there's the centrist against Corbyn, there's even the left against Corbyn. There are divisions within the leader's office. There are influences from different parts of youth movements and trade unions. Things are very chaotic. The other question is the effect it has on Corbyn's reputation. There may only be 300,000 Jewish people in the UK, but repeated suggestions that a veteran anti-racist may himself have a problem carries significant electoral risk. Liberal-leaning voters, uh, Labour-supporting voters, who think they're in a party or supporting a party which is anti-racist and think they are themselves anti-racist and don't want to be supporting a party which appears to be, always claim to be, anti-Semitic. Labour's national executive is under enormous pressure finally to change its policy, though so angry is the mood from the powerful left wing that it isn't a foregone conclusion. Labour remains a party whose membership love the leader, but whose politicians are deeply divided on him. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.